My name is Amy Gromowski, and I'm an attorney in Kansas City, Missouri, and I'm here with part two of my video blogging series for my fellow HubSpotters. And today, we're going to be talking about shooting the video, editing the video, and optimizing the video. And we'll get started with shooting the video. And if you're doing a one-on-one -on -one video like I'm doing now, the first thing you need to know is treat the camera like a person. And there's two, two kind of rules of thumb to go along with that. One is you want to look the camera in the eye just like you would a person. And you also want to have at least a foot between you and the camera because you want to give the camera personal space just like you would give somebody else personal space. Another t tip when you're shooting is when you mess up and flub, which I flub all the time, uh, just pause, collect yourself, figure out what you're going to say, and then give yourself two or three seconds and then just start uh, talking into the camera again. You don't need to stop the camera. Uh, you can just give, give yourself a little time to get together, but you want that two or three second buffer because that will help when you're editing your video. Now on to editing. As you notice in my two videos, I don't have any music or introductory title, but I think in some cases that would be appropriate. And with most editing software, it wouldn't be that hard to incorporate that. Um, what I do is when I'm editing, I edit it down to the video that I wanted to see, minus all the flubs. And then I put uh, titles or keywords on top of the video, and you see that they are on top of the video. And the reason I put them on top of the video as opposed to the bottom of the video is that I optimize my videos to have a Google AdWord for my business on the bottom. When I first started putting the videos on YouTube, it was very frustrating because my competitors' AdWords were on my videos, so I didn't really like that. But I figured out a trick, and I have posted it below in the blog post about how you can put your own AdWords on your YouTube video. I then upload the video to YouTube. My video software has the ability to upload uh, just straight from the software itself. You enter your name and password and it uploads the video to YouTube. But if you don't have that capability, just save it to your hard drive and then you can upload it to YouTube without any problems. Now, the, for the third part, optimizing your video. And the videos on YouTube are optimized very similarly to our HubSpot blogs. They have keywords, they have an introdu introductory paragraph, they have the meta title, they have all those things that are in HubSpot. And so basically I just cut and paste what I've done from my HubSpot blog into uh, the YouTube optimization. Um, I also put the date, I also put the location because it's important for me because I'm very, I'm a location-based business. So I hope you've enjoyed the series and you've learned something from it. I have very much enjoyed doing it. I really love the feedback I got on the blog post last week and I hope to see you in the forums to talk about video blogging and whatever else we need to do to make use of our HubSpot software and make our businesses great. So thanks so much and have a great day.